Hey guys, welcome back to another ROM hack here. And this is a Super Mario Bros. 3 Plus ROM hack, which I really enjoy. They've added some good stuff in here that just makes the game even better. And they've been able to fit this whole little story in here too. This also works if you have a flash cart, like I do. It works on original hardware, too. This introduction is kind of like the Super Mario Bros. 3 cartoon. And they've also added in two new characters to the game. Well, new to this game, Princess Peach and Toad. There's Princess Peach. Oh, This game is my favorite Mario game. So here we go. As you can see, it's, it's programmed by Logo Stripes and Sprites. So thank you very much to them for making this ROM hack. So we're going to go to new file. Starts out on the world map like it normally does. Uh, and I guess I didn't introduce myself. My name's Captain N. And uh, yeah, this is a Super Mario Brothers 3 ROM hack. So you have your overworld map, but you can revisit levels if you want to, which is nice. If you hit start, you get this. You can save at any time you want, which is also perfect, and then you can continue off. You have to choose from four characters that keep their power-ups if you go to a new character. We're going to do Princess in Stage 1. So as you can see, she floats just like in Super Mario Bros. 2, but there's also some other stuff out of here. Grab that. And now we're Raccoon Peach. That can float. And Ground Pound. If you hit start, you can turn Ground Pound on or off if you don't like it. But if you use Ground Pound, it smushes the enemy like that. I played Super Mario Bros. 3 so many times, I remember getting the actual game um, that my parents bought that yellowish box. I think it was yellow. And yeah, just looking at the artwork in the manual and so good. One of my earlier episodes I played Super Mario Brothers 3 with the Power Glove. Uh, I think it was Christmas in July and we were trying to get to Ice World. I'm pretty sure we made it. If you go back and look, you'll be able to see that video. But not right now, because you're watching this, obviously. American Thanksgiving is coming next week. And Christmas is coming up in a month now. As I'm recording this, there is exactly a month left till Christmas. So if you see here, you can go right back to the level. If you hit Start and Select, it kicks you right back out. So it's kind of like, it's pretty much like Super Mario World. You beat the level, you can back out of it. I definitely enjoy the princess's floating ability. And it's nice to have the extra characters added into the game as well. Ooh, shouldn't have done that. Those are coins. I would love to see these power-ups in new Mario games. Um, the new Mario game with the elephant power didn't do it for me. I know kids enjoyed it. I, I played a little bit of it and I've used some uh, some mods on it, I should say, to, to change you from... Oh, down the pit it goes. Alright then. Change you from elephant to uh, 
uh, or actually from Drill Mario to Raccoon Mario. But it uh, doesn't change your drill power, you still drill. Alright, let's uh, switch it up and we'll choose Luigi. So as you can see, Princess still keeps her lives and her ability. Hopefully he doesn't do his... Oh, he does his silly running jump. Oh, this ought to be interesting, guys. Although he jumps really high. Oh, that's right, and you can, you can wall kick as well. here. And you guys know that there's a secret over here. So he does a silly run. And he does a ground pound as well. Now we can't get the, the one up because we don't have raccoon power, but that's okay. Man, Luigi has a high jump. Yeah. Up above here, if you had raccoon power, you'd fly up there. And you can get a... One-up mushroom. But we can't, because we don't have raccoon power. But we can get... Whoa. Is not hit. If we go over here and... Spoiler alert. We're going to get the first warp whistle. Go behind the scenes. Hey there. Don't believe that is Toad. That's a mushroom retainer. There's only one Toad, despite what the new Mario movie says. In the original Super Mario Brothers booklet for the NES, it states, There's one Toad, and the rest are called mushroom retainers. I'm picky that way. <clears throat> mushroom. I wonder if these items are shared between them. We'll have to see. Let's uh, switch it up to Toad. Oh man, he's tiny. Hopefully we don't fall down the pit. But this game is just so much fun. The music is catchy. And there goes one up. Oh well. There we go. Bigger toad. <laughs> well, guys. That's how you do it. Okay. We're going to go and use mushroom. Then we're going to turn ground pound off for this one. There we go. Because I'm going to pound ground pound right through the floor again. And we don't need that. There is an option, <clears throat> excuse me, when you're playing, or when you're patching the game, I should say, you can choose Red Toad or Blue Toad. Um, didn't want to choose Blue Toad because, ah, Raccoon Toad, because Toad's red. Super Mario Brothers Super Show, he's red. Ah, there we go, we got a one up. Looks like a little cat. Alright, almost at the end here. Down pipe. There's a boomerang brother over there. Ah, oh, didn't have enough speed. If you get a running start, you should be able to get the star almost every time. Then I believe you get five free men. We will go back to Peach <coughs> or Princess Toadstool. Let's play the card game. Or yeah, or the lineup. You know, if you want to know why you have anxiety, this game is. I just 
press the A button over and over again and hope for the best. And we got the best. There we go. See? It's that easy. Let's go to the castle. We will get the newest warp, or the second warp whistle. I don't want Fire Peach right now. If she ducks, she covers her eyes. Grab that. Oh, and I missed him. Well, I guess we can't get that now. Mess that up, guys. That's okay. <clears throat> we'll go back. Because we want that warp whistle. And you have the duck here. Well, if you want to. And we fight Boom Boom. Smooshed. You know, this is something that I could see Nintendo doing. Adding these characters in. We're going to go back to... Grab ourselves Raccoon Power and then exit. Oh, well, I guess we're gonna deal with a Hammer Brother or Sledge Brother. No, that's a Hammer Brother. Whoa. Oh, no, I didn't want that. <laughs> that's okay. You can see she gets fire power as well, which is cool. Alright, let's go back to and get raccoon power again. You ever thought you see a floating princess with fire power? Alright. Back we go. We'll try not to get hit this time. Fly up here. Go all the way to the right, and then push up. You go through a doorway, a hidden doorway. There's a second warp whistle. Simple and straightforward. And I forgot my coffee in the kitchen. I will be right back. There we go. Got my coffee. Some type of Christmas blend, I think it is. Anyone that knows me knows I love Christmas. Well, we'll switch it up. You know what? Let's do good old Mario. So we have two warp whistles. Oh, I love this underground music, the way they did it. It's simple and perfect. Now we're gonna... Hmm, we'll go down here to get a power-up. Here we go. Get a mushroom. And then we will go back here, because there is a secret. You probably already know. 
See, we can kick off walls. That would send Luigi up into the stratosphere. Here we go. Can't get the one up that's up there either. Mario's not big enough. Let's turn ground pound back on. And there we go. Mario's sprite changes just a little bit there to almost like white? White hat? I don't know. Alright, let's go down the pipe. We've already been down there, so we know what it is. Down we go. Whoa. Almost got our head chewed off. Here we are. See? You run and you get a star almost every time. Oh, here we go. I thought I chose red toad. Oh, I guess I guess uh, the toad that I play is red. The mushroom retainers are blue. All right, guys, keep an eye on this. Well, that was that. Hope it was fun for you. All right, let's go in here. I had raccoon power. No. Oh. My wish is granted. And if we go in here. Do that. Get rid of these blocks. We'll get a one up. And if we can slide underneath here. There we go. Some coins. And up here. Down here. Sometimes there's some enemies that'll surprise you at the end there, so be careful. In one of the worlds, there's a chain chomp at the end there. Let's see what we got in the mushroom house here. What do you say? What? Which one do you want, guys want me to pick? Let me know. What's that? Middle? Okay. Fire flower. Mm, good choice. Alright, so we will use Princess. For this, and we'll also. Um, if you hit select, it turns the, down, the arrow down to save and continue. Hit start, it's saved. So when you load the game back up, you'll be able to continue from where you left off. Oh, it's terrible. The king has been transformed into a dog. Please find the magic wand so we can change him back. Oh, sure, why not? And the Doom Ship uh, music is great too. All of it's great. And it only got better from here, this Super Mario World. That game, I remember seeing it for the first time when one of my friends got a Super Nintendo, and yeah, I think he put away his regular Nintendo and possibly never played it again. But now these things are worth a lot of money, and they're memorable to us. It's like, you can put a game in, and you get hit by a cannonball. You can put a game in, and you don't have to worry about updates. No question blocks over here? Nah, nothing. Alright, that's fine. We're good. And we got it. That's okay. Oh. A little bit floatier with the princess, but that's okay. And then the doom ship flies away somewhere else. So we are going to grab some power-ups first, which is nice. Look at how little the princess is. we going to get a mushroom first. Get back here. And then we're going to go back in. 
and grab ourselves a raccoon leaf. And no, Tanuki and Raccoon are not the same. I want to know why we don't have Raccoon Mario in Mario Kart. We have Tanuki Mario, which is fine. Tanuki can change into a statue, just like in this game. But it would be nice to see Raccoon Mario. All you need to do is take his skin and add raccoon ears and a tail. Not that difficult. But nobody seems to be modding that into the game, unfortunately. And there's nowhere that I can really request that to be done. There we go. Whew. And I always try to jump to grab the one. Just because I can. And down we go. Right through the roof. Unless there's a skylight, which I doubt it. Oh, thank heavens. I'm back to my old self again. Thank you so much. Please take this. And, since you're not rescuing the princess... Greetings. If you see any ghosts, be careful. They will give chase if you turn away. And close as a jewel, they will help protect you. The Mushroom Kingdom. And you get a P-Wing. A P-Wing, if you don't know, is an item that you can use... To fly, you get raccoon power, but you can constantly fly, as long as you don't get hit. Now we're in... I want to call it the Kupahari Desert, because that was in the original Super Mario Bros. movie of 1993. Which was a great movie. Even though some people didn't like it, but it's okay to be wrong. Starman! What's that? No. Oh. oh, we can ground pound through these, that's right. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Well, sorry there, one up, you're staying there. Oh, I forgot those things can follow you as well. And I know there's a secret up there, I believe. Whoa! Way up there, I believe. Maybe I'm wrong. But we can ground pound all of these like this, which is awesome. Oh, we didn't get enough speed. That's okay. It's a fun game. Even the original is great. Back to Luigi. Play a little game. Line up the pictures. Just spam the A button. See what you get. Close, but no cigar. That's okay. Raccoon Luigi. Here. Get all the cheap cheap down there. Grab those. There we go. Another star. Alright, we'll go to Toad. And we do share you share the item bar, which is great. Oh, NES slowdown. There's the swamps. In the Super Mario Brothers movie of 1993, there were thwomp stomper boots that Mario and Luigi used. 
They used one at the end as well to be put in a cartridge, which is a bullet bill, and click your heels together. They did that to uh, knock King Koopa into the barrel. And there's booze there. We're just going to run really fast and try not to get smushed. And you don't want to get impaled on these spikes. It hurts a bit. fight with Boom Boom. I guess his brother, maybe. Oh, he hit me. Get over here. Now we're really little Toad. Oh, I got a card game. Let's go with Princess. They did a pretty good job with their artwork there. Oh, where'd we see that coin one? Wow, well, we're doing great on that one. Oh, we got a, a lock removed here. Alright guys, which box would you like? Let me know. I can't hear you a little bit louder. Last one? Okay. Mushroom. We can use it. We'll go around here. We could have gone down the warp pipe. I'll show you that. So if you go down the pipe. Up here it brings you over to here. And this one is lots of fire. There we go. Back in business. Starman. Give me Starman up here now. But relief. Come here. Oh, I don't think I've ever done that before. Go. Hmm. Well, I found a secret that I haven't seen before. There we go. Okay, well. First time for everything. <laughs> oh boy. Well, at least we can kick out of there. I don't know. Slow down. Okay, and we'll let this go. Turtle shell go down. There we go. You can also pound right through those. <laughs> well, just go through the pipe. No, almost. Brother. Oh, Boomerang Brother. Look out! Music box. The music box will put them to sleep so you can go around them without having to fight them. Ah, oh, this one here, I believe it's the Angry Sun. Let's um, use our P Win for this. Yeah, he's angry. So if you notice, I can just fly through the whole thing. 
just like this so the angry sun doesn't get me. Sometime this summer it felt like that angry sun. But can't get me up here. If I had a star man I could knock him out. I haven't tried hitting him with my raccoon tail, but be my guest if you want to, because I don't want him. Whew. You almost got me there. One up. What do we have here? Okay. We need to get another item. So this one... I'm going to choose the first one. Yeah, raccoon leaf. Okay, we will go to four. And there's a little secret up there. I'll show you. If you run and fly all the way up. There. There's your secret. These coins. I like doing this. Get a running start. And get those coins. Jump up here, grab these. And then there's an switch in one of these blocks. I believe it's this one that I can't get at? Yep. Yeah. Okay. That just inverts blocks into coins and coins into blocks. Don't think so there, Boomerang Brother. And then, we're gonna go fight this boomerang brother to get an item from him. Should be a hammer. What does the hammer do? This. Go up here. Use the hammer. Knock that out of the way. You will get a toad house. Or mushroom retainer house, I should say. We'll go with middle frog suit. And then, we're going to fight these two Fire Brothers, which gives us the third Warp Whistle. And then, just for fun, we're going to do this. Oh, she's, she's pink. I haven't done um, a test run as... Frog Peach. Well, she can ground pound, but she can't hover as a frog. Oh, you can wall kick, though. Alright, well, that's about a half an hour long I wanted to show this off. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I definitely did. I enjoyed playing this. Um... I don't know where to get this hack anymore because his website was taken down. But uh, if you if you search for Super Mario Brothers 3 Plus, you should be able to find it. Thank you so much for watching this. I am as always Captain N, and I'll see you in the next ROM hack.